is your fiance. Mm -hmm. You sometimes do approximately 30,000 calories a day. <laughs> That's a lot of food. As you've gained weight. 30,000! <laughs> What's going on, Clutch? What? What up, what up, what up? What up? It's your boy Ross. We're in the Clutch. Hey, hey back to ladies and gentlemen of the video today. You feel me? Uh, the Dr. Phil Show <laughs> World's Biggest Bride update full mm. episode. So, mm -hmm. apparently, uh, someone has sent us the link to the episode. If you guys seen uh, our recent video of Dr. Phil's, like, most savage moments, where uh, the lady, her friend was delusional, saying, oh, she's really technically healthier than me. And Dr. Phil went through the thing she ate just that day. And, and it was ridiculous. It man. was ridiculous. So, like, come on. We man. had to get the context of this because this is <laughs> wild. So, we're going to check this out. Being called the world's biggest bride is wild. <laughs> and this is an update. Yeah, it's an and update. It's wild, fam. Start I'm doing something. With the world. Oh, bride. so this was when a I different story. Okay, okay. She wanted to reach her wedding day weight of 800 pounds, but I had different plans for her. So that's, how is she doing? Well, let's just that's say her target I goal. Her. Wait, 800 pounds is her wedding weight? That's what she want to reach? Oh, wow. That's. Let's see how much she actually weighs. Damn. Damn. That's. Nah, bro. That's. To say your target weight is 800, that's wild, bro. Damn. On a plane and fly all the way across the country to confront her once again when we she come back. Out the whole road. I think he flew to her. He would have to. He oh, yeah. is telling you while you're here, he wants you to gain weight. He's telling me to come home and just go back to gaining weight. So this thing is the problem. Oh. Why he look like a movie character? So. Oh, he the pro who, he's who is he though? That's messed up, bro. What are you doing? And they filmed this too, all right? That's now. one, Go ahead two, and feed her. three, four, five, six plates. Bro, he's he's the, the problem, A gallon-sized cup, ketchup, and is that syrup? Yeah. What the hell is she eating? Yeah, bro, he the problem, bro. Oh, man, he's just a cheesing. Bro, he, he's the problem, bro. People Basically, like that what are what he's telling awful. you is you have to be willing to kill yourself to be with me. What? Yeah, that's well, pretty much what it is. All the way across the country because I wanted to check in with Suzanne. You'll remember her, the world's biggest bride. She had a goal. She wanted to weigh 800 pounds when she walked down the aisle. I said that was a... Now, nah, that picture is toxic as hell. Did you yeah, see that? Yeah, bro. Just... Come on, bro. Y'all wrong for this picture. You got the eggs. You look like well, honey, honey buns. buns. Yeah. You got the honey buns unwrapped. Yep. To look like a design. This is sad. You know bro. how big you gotta be to this unwrap a box of honey buns. That's because you go and go decorate eat them. them on the plate. Go eat them, bro. Because you sad. don't want to unwrap a honey bun and leave it to be stale. So that's sad, bro. She already took one off the top. Damn, man. I would say those are oranges, but I don't want to be healthy. Oh. That's definitely not oranges. I don't know what the fuck that is. But he it's too much. He walked down the aisle. I said that was a bad idea. In fact, I said it was a deadly idea. You'll remember her. Take a look. On a given day, I don't really count my calories. I do what's called we grazing know. all day long. What I do is I grazing. have my normal big meals with the family. And what then the while I'm just sitting there at my computer watching TV, I snack almost constantly. <laughs> <laughs> the hell was that? said I would break the world record, and that would be awesome. Why do you want to be larger? With me, it's either you, you're all in, or you're all out. But I want to see... Nigga, you about to be all out of life, get. nigga. You got to chill out. Oh. the gaining, the way it feels. As oh. I put the weight on, I feel happier. You're actually a model, right? Yes. And you have a website? It's For who, like Tesla? It's kind of like a type style website. There's nothing X-rated. It's just basically... Fam. I ain't trying to. Nah, bro. But this come is, on now. This like, is not what she up. just. Bro, it like she got a. She need a fucking bean life. bag. <laughs> she need a lizard with my life. Let's go. Bro, it like she gripping on a bean bag that was sitting <laughs> on her lap. Oh, my God. Bro. bigger women showing off their body and confidence. That don't even look real. Parker, who is your fiance? Mm -hmm. You sometimes do approximately 30,000 calories a day. <laughs> That's a lot of food. As you've gained weight, 30,000! <laughs> what is it? 
What is it? It's like 25. It's like the recommended. It's like 2,500. It's like the recommended, like the recommended right? Damn. Like 22,000 is 2,000 to like. Mm -hmm. Depending Damn. on your, you know, how much Damn. you work out and stuff like that. Ooh. 30,000? That's multiple people over. How can you even eat that? Bro, much? heart just, just, I'm trying, bro. <laughs> just, you know what the heart looked like? Spider Man, when he was trying to hold them trains together. <laughs> the, the train from stopping. Heart the is, subway. Come is on, struggling, bro. bro. And it's crazy how the human body can stretch like that, bro. That's insane. If you really think about it, because he wasn't always like that. So yeah, right. the fact that the human body is stretched. I mean, it does it with pregnancy. I mean, it does, but that is, that's multiple human beings in one. Yeah, that's a group. Damn, bro. It's a starting five. It is. Come on. What can you do and not do? I have to have somebody take me from our apartment down to the car. In my that's a small car. I have to make sure I go to a store that only has, you know, the power hanging up. I can go for short walks, but not long walks. The people in your life okay with this? They are because oh. they have to be. I feel Would perfectly you? comfortable with Suzanne's size. She's healthy, and so long as she's happy in her skin, I'm happy with her. She's Remember? what? She's not healthy. Did what he is just say she's healthy? She Healthy meaning alive yeah. for the time being? Well, you're, you're part of the problem, too. Yeah, he is gripping her hand and stuff. Oh, my God. These are some sickos here, man. This nigga. Cause she just a cheesing. Cause she got she got somebody once again. There's somebody out there for everybody, y'all. There we go. I just said it. This, this nigga. Is, this ain't more proof than uh, this nigga got to lift up stuff to get to where he want to get to, bro. That's, that's wild. Oh, I don't even want. Ugh, that's, <laughs> that visual is sickening, bro. No disrespect, but Jesus, the smell. <coughs> oh, come on, man. <laughs> I gotta eat in a minute. <laughs> this woman is such at a high risk I mean, he's small. for heart failure, yes. other organ failure, yeah. premature death. Yes, sir. That yeah. She is a ticking time bomb. I think this is protracted suicide, and I think you are an enabler if Facts. you are helping her do this. Exactly. If you help me or not, I would do it. Do you believe that you're putting your life at risk by being at this weight? How do you change something that you feel is you? And I'm telling you that your chance of seeing 50, in my opinion, is almost zero. Zero, bro. Your body can't handle that. That she is okay with weighing what she weighs and getting Katie even Perry bigger. light over here. Right. As long as she's healthy. As long as she does it safely, I'm happy. How do you do it safely? <laughs> and she's no... healthier than I am. No, she's not. She's not. <laughs> No, she she is. Is. Bro, listen to this list. Cancer, she is not healthy. I've had a history of heart problems. Oh my God, I can't believe what you just said. She now told me you have a family history of heart disease. Yeah, that's so everything that's even I worse. just told you is worse. Yeah. Your, your mother says her goal is to get to sixteen hundred pounds. Oh, that's his. And oh, that's her son. Sixteen hundred pounds, actually. Wait. It's the heaviest ever, Carol Yeager. That's her son. Yeah, that was her son, but her goal is to get to 1,600. 1,600 pounds. Oh, That's where she want to get to. Oh, that other dude is the son. It's yeah. worse. Your, your mother says her goal is to get to 1,600 pounds. Did you know 1,600 that? pounds. And a woman did get to 1,600 pounds, actually. She's the heaviest ever, Carol Yeager. She died at 34. People that weigh more die earlier. And how old are you? 34. Have I said anything to change your mind? I mean, I love my sister. She's my best friend. You know, I'm afraid to lose her. Well, you're selling yourself I short. Freak. And I, for one, think you don't have the right to do what you're doing. I will make you an offer. There's a program that you can go into. It is designed to take people that fight morbid obesity and give them the medically supervised return to health. Do this for you. Do it for the people that love you. Dog. Deal. All right, see if she take the deal. Well, Suzanne, finally, man, I would have did it anyway. Structure house, but let me tell you, you realize if you just take out all of the bad stuff in the house, what's she gonna do? She would have no choice. She right. would starve or and lose weight, or just eat better. <laughs> it would be either one. 
Cause the body can live off that for a while. Man, she got a cool little yeah, couple bro. years. Her body, she can go to the wilderness. All she can give her some water. She'll be she fine, straight, bro. bro. She will be fine. What apocalypse or something, bro? She got to go underground, bring some to drink. Yeah, bro. She'll body, be fine. She'll bro. live off herself. Yeah, literally. It'll be like, oh shit, I got plenty, nigga. Food for days. Let's get get the nigga. I'm straight, nigga. I ain't got a what. She's going to a bunker and be good. Fast for some. Tell you, this man. was a struggle. It took another month to get her going. And we the know night before how works, she but... goes, yeah. she ate two sandwiches with roast beef, turkey, she ham, went. cheese, <laughs> onion, mayonnaise. She had chips and soda. Bro, so it was kind of kept... like a last ditch effort. Here's how the journey began. She's like, I got to get it in. Today is the first day of my journey to losing weight. I'm going to Well Springs to get that started. I feel nervous, scared, anxious, excited, happy. You know, it's going to be hard you know, to be away from my family and friends. When I was on the show, it was a wake-up call. It was kind of surreal, but it got me to doing a lot of thinking. Dr. Phil looked at me as an enabler, basically someone who... Yes, you um, are. Yeah, go ahead and keep on eating. Suzanne was already this size when I met her. So Damn! It's not like she was I a baby love found weakling when I met her, and then this happened. He's making me a sandwich, something kind of light, because I'll be flying, so I don't want to have anything heavy. Yes, I know, Dr. Phil. I'm enabling her right now, but it's her last day before she goes away and doesn't get any goodies for a while. I've never seasoned a sandwich. Yeah, bro. Just, like a regular sandwich, I've never seasoned. This nigga just want to add more. Just <laughs> fuck wait, it, bro. Wait, fam. I've never seasoned a sandwich. Let me know. I... I don't even think there's nothing people do. Like, well, some people do at Subway. You can put like no, fam. Yeah. No, 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 no. Look what I'm saying. Not Subway. I'm talking about just a regular sandwich at home. Well, these niggas think they at Subway. I don't fucking know what to tell you. Bro. I mean, a Subway sandwich is different. I'm talking about like a regular <laughs> ham and cheese. It ain't no regular ham and nice cheese. Big pile of chips. Look at that. Look, that's a regular sandwich. Sandwiches with lots of mayo, two different cheeses, a couple different types of meat. This will be a tiny snack. <laughs> Stupid said plain. That's a good. <laughs> I'm so glad that you did that. What are you crying for? Talking about she's healthier you than you. you if like you don't get your ass on that damn plane and better your life, why y'all crying? How many people missed the flight? Because there's somebody out there for, me, for everybody. She had to get on socks. She had a road. Yeah, she had to, she had to pay for both of them. Hey, Hi. I'm Tom Britton. I'm the executive director. Nice to meet you. Welcome to Wellspring Structure House. Thank you. I'm glad you're here. So am I. I'm looking forward to the changes. <laughs> Please. Well, Suzanne has now spent five months at Structure House, okay, an internationally five recognized weight loss center. The experts hmm. have really got their work cut out for them with Suzanne. Now, she hasn't always followed the program. She has snuck. Yep. Uh, off campus, gone to a fast food chicken place, and she really needs a reality check. Damn. She has no idea that I'm here, and that's for a reason. What we're yeah. going to do today is do a fruit platter and a composed salad. You know how to use a knife and all those things. Cutting away from yourself. Hello. <laughs> What's up? When Dr. Phil walked in, I was just like, Oh my God, I was so shocked. I was a little bit nervous because I haven't done as well as I probably could have. How are you doing, sir? Good, how are you? How's this one doing? She's doing good. I came to see you. This <laughs> All the way across the country to see you. I've been getting reports, some good, some bad. And uh, so I thought I'd chat with you a little bit about what's going on. All right, shall we go sit down and talk a little bit? All right, let's do it. <laughs> Why your ass is that that goddamn Popeye's? Is fiance sabotaging her? He wants you to gain weight. Come home. I know it will kill you, but it's what I want you to do. And then when you die off, I'll go find me another fat girl. Yeah, that seems like what it sounds like. We now return to fat Dr. Phil and yeah. the world's biggest bride update. Seem like it, man. You came in. Get them in insurances. Mm -hmm. So middle of June was middle it? Middle of June, about the 18th. So we're here now at the end of October, so four months. Mm -hmm. You currently are down a total of 47, 48 pounds. Yeah, You've been down, good. back up, look like down, back up, and down. 
by the time people see this interview, they're going to have seen a recap, and the recap is going to have told them that your goal was not to lose weight, but to gain weight. Mm -hmm. But I want to see just how large I can get and still be healthy and happy because nice. I enjoy the gaining, the way it feels, everything about it. They're going to have heard me say <laughs> that I thought rubber. that was an absolute higher form of destructive insanity. <laughs> and Facts. you disagreed. Of and course. You had some family members and a fiance who I thought were just enabling you. Mm -hmm. And you like large women. I'm just not the type of person who likes stick skinny women. I just, I, I never have. I've always liked women with curve. And it's a lot of curve, nigga. You got a gravitational oh, pull over there. I take her grocery shopping, and the cart is loaded full of fruits and vegetables. I don't even plate. eat that much. Oh my God. You have brainwashed these people. So tell me curve. where all that is at this point. I was struggling with binge eating and with whether I still wanted to continue gaining, whether I still wanted to be a part of that world because that's that how world. I made my living. Indeed, and that's buddy. what I really enjoyed. Or whether I wanted to be healthy and live a long life. And several times I, I, was, I was in the mind frame where I can do it, I can lose weight, I want to at least lose 100 pounds. And my fiance Parker at first was supportive, but then he started talking about wanting me to gain. He was, in a sense, giving me permission Parker. to do what I wanted to do. I can't wait to eat. Not Peter Parker. And then either. eventually, you know, I would go up and down and I was, I was just feeling hopeless, like I couldn't do it. And then I just came to a point where, after a binge, I was like, I can't do this to myself anymore. And I told him that I wanted to lose weight. I told him that I needed to do this. But then he sent me several text messages telling me how, if I wanted us to have a happy marriage, I need to gain. If I wanted us to be happy, him I need to gain. He's, he's a villain, bro. Yeah, he he's is. telling you while you're here. He's a villain. He he's wants a villain, you bro. to gain weight. He's telling me to come home and just go back to gaining weight. He's a villain, bro. We'll have a happy marriage. We'll be, we'll be happy. This is like a, a, a feature documentary wants. or it's something what like. He thinks I want. It's what I wanted. Every time I would get, you know, I can no, do you this. Want I can it. lose the weight. I, you know, <laughs> I can accomplish evil, this. Bro. Like evil, this nigga map the closest chicken spot to her. And you agreed with that to, to a degree. degree. I did. I've been in, in therapy here, going back and forth with the, you know, I want to lose weight. No, trying trying to let go of the gaining weight and how much I loved it versus being healthy. And that's that's where I've battled back and forth. But he wasn't <laughs> he wasn't being constructive to what I need. Did it ever occur to you that he's wanting you to do this for his entertainment because he has some <laughs> attraction to this? That he's willing for you to put your life in jeopardy to yeah. entertain him? Come on. That's sick. I don't think it was all about his entertainment. I just think that's what he was attracted to. How is that not for his entertainment? Right, he yeah. said, gain weight, come home, we'll be happy, we'll be married. I know it will kill you, yeah. but it's what I want you to do. How is that not for his entertainment at your expense? Think about it. Okay. Yeah, yeah he may have to drop is that Is he man. saying if you were 120 pounds or 150 pounds or 200 pounds, he would not be attracted to you? Mm -hmm. Damn. Okay, so That's... he's saying if you want he's, me. He's in one sentence saying that, you know, I'm attracted to you as a person. I love you as a person, but if you're not fat, I won't be attracted to you. That's, and we then, won't have happy marriage. That's not... So basically what he's telling... You need to break up with this dude. Break up with that nigga ASAP, bro. Yeah, because that's that's toxic as yeah, hell. That's, like, that's really toxic. Nah, break up with that That's life-threatening toxic. Break up with that man. I know it's going to be tough. Leave that motherfucker alone. Because yeah, anybody like, that's cool with you eating yourself to death... Just for his yeah, pleasure nah, nah, and bro. to appease him. Nah, bro. bro leave, you're risking your life. Leave him alone. All he going to do is bury you and go to the next Nate. one. Yep. Come on. I'm telling you is you have to be willing to kill yourself to be with me. And then when you die off, I'll go find me another fat girl. Yep, that's it. And when she dies off, I'll go find me another fat girl. Because you notice he's not fat. Mm -mm. Why? What do you think about that? Hurts your feelings, Insane. doesn't it? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so long as she's happy in her skin, I'm happy with her as well. When was the last time you saw this no, Beyonce? Oh, no. Every time she loses weight, that's what he do. Ah, oh, man. This shouldn't happen this way. Yeah, nah, that's... We'll have to continue that one. Yeah, man, uh... That's very wild, bro. Like, come on, man. You see... 
and he's not even fat. Nope. He wants you to risk your life. He making all these meals for you while he's eating and watching what he eats. Yeah, nah. Isn't that some crap? That's some wild Hopefully stuff. Hopefully she was able to get away from him, man, because that is a uh, a one way trick uh, trip to an early grave. Yeah. With that lifestyle, man. Nah, that shit is not. Uh, what's the name, uh, dude? That we always be checking out. That we do check out like the the TLC mm -hmm. Six Hundred Pound Life. Oh, he would have went in. I don't oh, know if yeah. you just check this out. You may have to send it to him, man, for sure. He that's... Would, he would have went. He's, in, he's enabling her real bad, bro. just just. So she can kill herself. Yeah. Right. <sighs> That's sick, man. Yeah, man. Hey, let us know what y'all think in the comments down below. If y'all want us to continue this, make sure you let us know as well. And run up the like so that way we'll confirm, hey, they liking this one. So we'll continue it, see this uh, story through, and see how it ends. Because mm -hmm. I'm interested to see where this actually goes. So, yeah. uh, again, make sure y'all run up the like, subscribe, all that good stuff. Continue to spread love, be love. Catch y'all on the next one. Peace out. All right, dude. Bitches from Houston If you got a problem Then we got the solutions And there's no illusion I made this shit happen I'm living life lucid I'm switching my strategies Now they hate on me Cause I'm causing casualties But why are they after me? Deep inside they know They can't handle half of me